when it comes to wild population of fish and fishing, where we're overfishing, we need to produce more food from the ocean. Where only 3% of the food we eat today comes from the ocean, so fish farming is part of the solution where we will feed a growing population. My name is uh, Alf Jørgen Knudsen and I'm the CEO of uh, Quarry Arctic, a uh, farming company that uh, farms Atlantic salmon. Open net farming is when you farm a fish in the waters in open nets with smaller holes so the water can flow through and the fish can swim around inside the net. So our net pen farming differs from others in, in several ways. Uh, the way we farm, the way we look at the farm and the way we feed the fish. So our density is lower than the general salmon uh, industry. So we keep the density below 20 kilo per cubic. That means 2% salmon, 98% water. To make sure that the salmon has enough space to grow, to uh, take care of the fish welfare and, and have a healthy salmon. We're certified uh, by ASC and others. We take an extended uh, sampling of the benetic in the area around our farms to make sure our footprint is uh, as low as possible. Technology is a major part of improving the way we do farming today. We have implemented uh, camera systems and laser technology to uh, try to fight uh, the main problem we have in industry, which is the parasites, the lice that exist in the wild it's, and attaches to the salmon. So we have lasers that actually shoots the parasite off the salmon without hurting the salmon at all. What actually separates us the most from other farmers is our feed and quarry uh, has a special feed that's only produced for us. We have uh, a higher omega-3 level in our fish without using more marine ingredients but with using algae and uh, krill and other things. We also have specifically worked to, to have the feed to become a net producer of protein. With that we means we are producing more fish with our feed than we're using in the feed to produce fish. We use spike cuts from the North Atlantic herring and mackerel and products that wouldn't have gone to human consumption. So we're at 0 0.5 kilo of uh, marine ingredients into the feed and 1 kilo of salmon produced. The fish farming industry is only a little bit over 50 years. And I think uh, with today's technology, with machine learning, AI, all of these things, we can get better at producing salmon, even go down to where we're farming one and one animal as they do in, in other animal productions, where you can actually follow one fish from start to end, and you can help that salmon have the best conditions uh, possible. <music>